A very good day to Dr. Najib Mohamed. We are from Group 3 and we will be presenting about dual band MIMO antenna for 5G application. These are my group members and I am Lee Seng A. For the introduction, the study of 5G smartphone antenna that has high application value to suit the need of 5G wireless communication system. MIMO technology allows many antenna elements to be accommodated in space-constrained mobile devices and limiting bandwidth. Multiple input, multiple output MIMO and arrays antenna can be superior alternative for increasing the range of the broadcast signal. The chosen frequency band for this dual band MIMO antenna are designed at 3.3 GHz to 3.6 GHz and 4.8 GHz to 5.0 GHz. For the methodology, the system circuit board is chosen to be 130mm x 74mm in size. The side edge frame and circuit board are both built on a 0.8mm thickness FR4 subject with a relative permittivity of 4.4 and a loss tangent of 0.002. The antenna's radiation components are separated into two parts which is the front radiation part is a bending line monopole feed part and the bad radiation part is an L-shaped short circuit stub. These are the parameters for the main substrate which is using the material FR4 lossy and the horizontal and vertical frame which is also using the material FR4 lossy. Next this is the parameter for the grounding and the antennas. The grounding material is using copper and for the antenna we, we are also using copper. This is the continuation for the antenna parameters. These are also the continuation for the parameter of antenna and the center picture is showing the cylindrical part where the antenna and the grounding is connected. And this is a picture for the top view, the isotropic view, and the side view of the completed MIMO antenna. That's all from me. Thank you. From this process of antenna simulation and circuit analysis, it will display the S parameter, far view, energy power efficiency, and BSWR, which will discuss about the two range of frequencies, which is 3 by 3 gigahertz, induced 3 by 6 gigahertz, and 4.8 GHz until 5 GHz. Uh, S parameter is the scattering parameters, which refers to the relationship between the output box of the antenna. There are four S parameter represented uh, which is of port 1, port 2, port 3, and port 4. For the trend of the S12, S21, S34, S43 is found there. The insertion loss is post the power loss. For the train of S13, S34, S31, and S42 is represented that the coupling of next uh, near end cross stop is post the power loss range loss range from negative 24.5 decibel until negative uh, 35 decibel. Uh, throughout the frequency range from 3 GHz until 5.2 GHz. For the trend of S14, S23, S32, and S41, which is represented that the coupling of the uh, fax, uh, far end cross stop is post the power loss from negative 30.5 decibel until negative 52.7 decibel throughout the frequency range from 3 gigahertz until 5.2 gigahertz. Today, my name is Tam Jin Sien. I will discuss about the far field. The far field in MIMO antenna represented the region of electromagnetic field around the MIMO antenna, or the region possess the planar outgoing wavefront and the radiation pattern that is independent of the distant from the antenna and it have polar variation. For this dual band MIMO antenna, the first frequency bands chosen were 3.3 GHz until 3.6 GHz. 
I will start discussing about the 3 by 3 GHz radiation pattern. The far field radiation pattern of 3 by 3 GHz of 4 ports networks had produced the 4 radiation pattern, which the first one and the third one is the same, the second and the fourth one is the same. Well, for the far field radiation pattern at 3 by 4 GHz, it possesses the same radiation pattern with 3.3 GHz, just it has the difference in the main loop magnitude and the angular width. Their main loop direction and the side loop level are the same one. Next. For the far field radiation pattern of 3.5 GHz and 3.6 GHz, they possess the different main loop direction with compared to the radiation pattern of 3.3 GHz and 3.4 GHz. They have the four radiation pattern that same with the pre previous one, but they have the different of main load magnitude and the uh, angular width with the previous radiation pattern. The second frequency bands chosen for the dual band MIMO antenna is the frequency from 4.8 GHz until 5.0 GHz. The radiation pattern, main load magnitude, main load direction, angular width, side load level of these three frequency bands is totally different from the previous frequency bands, which are 3 by 3 gigahertz until 3 by 6 gigahertz. But the these three frequency bands possess the almost same radiation pattern and the same main load direction. But these three frequency bands have the different main loop magnitude, different angular width, and the different side loop. For the radiation pattern of 4.8 GHz, it possesses the smaller radiation pattern with compared to the 4.9 GHz radiation pattern. Means it has the smaller far field diversity apps. For the far field radiation pattern of 5.0 GHz, it possesses the largest radiation pattern with the main loop magnitude of negative 4.96 dBi. It has the same main loop direction with the previous radiation pattern which are 4.8 GHz and 4.9 GHz. But the angular width is much smaller and the side loop level is much smaller. Throughout the analysis on the far field directivity apps, we can see that the main loop magnitude and the side loop level of the frequency bands, the first frequency bands from the 3.3 GHz until 3.6 GHz is remain constant, while for the trains for the main loop magnitude and the side loop level of the second frequency bands, which are 4.8 GHz until 5.0 GHz, is shown the trains of decrease gradually. For the main loop direction of the those seven frequencies, it's shown that the main loop direction is constant for every two frequencies bands, which the 3 by 3 gigahertz is same as the 3 by 4, the 3 by 5 same as the 3 by 6, and while for the 4 by 8 is same until 5 by 0 gigahertz. While for the angular width, it's shown the decrease gradually which it decreases from the 2 by 3 gigahertz until 5 by 0 gigahertz where the degree is decreases from 55 53.3 until 30.8 uh, hello my name is Wong Shangle and now I would like to present about the energy power efficiency and VSWR <coughs> graph for the field energy against time graph the energy received by the antenna is very weak until the time duration is at 0.5 nanosecond. Then there is an improvement of the signal received show that there is a max antenna data received after 1 nanosecond. And the antenna data slightly decreases as the time increases. And in the power against frequency graph, it shows that in between 3 
3.3 to 3.5 GHz and 4.8 to 5 GHz has the highest power acceptor and the lowest power loss in those desired frequency. After that, for the efficiency against frequency graph, there is a decrease for efficiency. The data and total efficiency can be observed from the chart. Therefore, as the high efficiency antenna has the most of the power present at the antenna input radiator array, it can be concluded that the higher the frequency of the antenna, the lower the antenna gain. For the VSWR against the frequency graph, it shows that the frequency in between 3.3 GHz to 3.6 GHz and 4.8 GHz to 5.0 GHz had have the lowest VSWR value. The lower value of VSWR indicates the lower reflector power from the antenna. Lastly, I would like to present about the conclusion and future improvement for this project. Uh, in most than for similar in and out multiple out communication which distribute the same data as numerous signal across multiple antennas at the same time while only using one radio channel. In this project, the results show that this dual band VMO antenna system has a great resonance frequency in between these two range of frequency. And this shows that the dual band VMO antenna system has a great agreement with the performance parameter of the VMO which makes it suitable for 5G application. And lastly, for some innovation like a, a reduction in the size of the subtract, improvement in antenna construction can be included as the part of the future work. Thank you. That's all for our presentation.